Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful baby blanket. Look at it. In this video I'm going to show you the first part of this set and soon in another video I will show you how you can make this baby jacket that will complete this set. Look at the stitch that I choose. It is so beautiful, also the material and the color that I choose. It's a special, this blanket is a special when you breastfeed. So it is more comfortable uh, wearing this uh, kind of blanket in this shape. Or also you can put it above the stroller or just uh, as a decoration in your baby room. Also you can wear it like this as a show. I crocheted this from my daughter and when she uh, went out of the hospital after she gave uh, birth well she just said in the back and she looks good so it's up to you remember that this is just an idea and I will show you like the easiest and fastest way that you can make it I will give you the material list first and then the step by step of how you can make it remember that uh, making these two pieces is uh, 500 grams you will need 500 grams but well i will tell you exactly how many skein of yarns you will need for this blanket well let's start well for these two pieces for the blanket and for the jacket we are going to use baby flour we are going to need 500 grams choose this yarn because it's so soft and beautiful and specialized for the uh, projects we are going to need a pair of needles of number five, a hook of number three or three and a half according how you crochet. And in this case for the blanket, we are going to add the circular needles or the round needles of number five. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will leave the information where you can get them. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Hello, I have a big announcement to make. I want to share with all of you that now you can download and you can buy all my magazines in this new app of My Ideas. Just, you have to download the app of My Ideas and there you can find all the different numbers and all the different volumes that I have made with this amazing editorial. You will see that these amazing magazines are so easy to follow. Remember that these magazines are written by me and I share all the diagrams so you can follow and clearly make these amazing projects with me. So please don't miss it and download all the magazines. Well, here is where we are going to start the video. We are going to make the blanket. Remember, we are going to start casting five stitches in the circular, circular, circular needles, like this. I cast on the stitches like this. You will find that it's the easiest way, and with this, you don't waste any material. So here we have four and five stitches. Then, to start the first row, we are going to take and knit the first stitch. Okay, so knit, then turn over one, knit again, turn over, knit the third stitch, yarn over, knit the fourth stitch, yarn over, and knit the fifth stitch, the fifth stitch. And this is how we are going to increase the stitches. From now on, we are going to continue making one row increasing the stitches and the next row without. We are going to increase for four times. Two at the edge, one in the right and one in the left. And we are always going to increase when we have this thread here. Only, always when we are in this side is we are going it means that we are going to increase this is a sign so I'm going to put a marker here so I can notice in which row I have to increase and in which no 
So here I'm going to knit without increase, remember. I ask you to use the circular needles because at the end there are a lot of stitches. So we will knit this one and it will be easier. Well, we will pass the first stitch and we are going to knit, we are going to pour, knit, pour, knit, pour, knit, and the last one, pour. So now, as our marker point, we are going to increase in this row. So to start, we are going to post the first stitch. We are going to grab our turn. Then here it means that we, if it's pour, we are going to knit it. If it's knitted, we are going to pour. Okay, so in this case, in the last row we pour, so now here we are going to knit. Then here in the last we knit, so we are going to pour. But before, grab your yarn. Remember that in this row we are going to increase. So before to knit or pour, we are going to increase by mm, grabbing our yarn. And for the last stitch, it's okay that if you knit or if you pour, it's the same. Okay, so now here we're finished. Remember that we are going to increase always in the middle so so we can notice oh, I'm going to put a marker to point it out that this is the middle of our blanket. If you don't have markers like this one, well you can use threads from different colors to point it out in these, in these parts, okay? So now let's continue with the next row. Remember that here we are not going to increase. We are going to pass the first stitch and then if in the last row we need work well, here we are going to pour. Then need pour. So here for example we pour, so now we are going to need. Here we are going to pour. And remember that this stitch in the middle we are going to always pour. And then we are going to continue making as it goes. If we pour in the last row, well, then we will knit. And if we knit, we are going to pour. Remember that the last stitch, you can take it pour or knit it. Well, so now in the next row, we are going to increase because the marker is in this side. So remember, every time it's in this side, it means that we are going to increase. So we pass the first stitch and turn over. Then if the last one we need, we are going to pour. Then pour, knit, and here in the middle, we are going to pour always. So right here in the middle, grab your yarn, then knit, grab your yarn, pour, knit, Pour, knit, pour, grab your yarn, yarn over, and the last one we are going to pour or knit. So remember we are going to increase at the beginning and at the end and in the middle. Well now remember that in the next row we are not going to increase. We are going to knit it as it goes. For example if here we pour, well now we are going to knit then we are going to pour. The stitch by its own is going to tell us what is next. And remember always that the stitch of the middle, this one, is going to always be taken in pour. Sometimes it's going to uh, happen that the last stitch was poured too, but sometimes not. But it doesn't matter, like every time you are in, right in the middle, you are going to pour the stitch. I hope that you can get this material, it's so soft and beautiful, as you can see it has uh, flowers and different colors. Well this is the straight part of the blanket and believe it or not this is the picot of the uh, blanket. You will see, let's knit until the middle of the blanket so you will see how this is getting shaped. Well now we are in the row where we are going to increase. Remember that at the beginning and at the end we are going to increase 
and also twice in the middle right before uh, the middle and right after the middle I will do it slowly so you can see how it is so here is where I wanted to arrive I think that with this rose is enough so you can see more or less how this is getting shaped so this is a straight part of the of the blanket and this is a triangle this is a tip of a triangle of the blanket so you will see while you are making more rows you will see that this is getting shape so let's continue approximately we are going to make as many rows as we need probably you will end two skeins of yarn if you want a blanket like the one i made and for this jacket we are going to use two skein of yarns or one and a half according to the size of the baby that you are making this project okay so now let's continue and like we are making a simple stitch at the end for the edge we are going to make a different stitch so I will show you and also I will show you how we are going to pin off for example here if you could see I almost lose one stitch because instead of pull I need it so be careful remember that stitch is going to tell you but it its own what it's next so we are going to continue like this also uh, remember to move your marker to point it out where is the middle every time that you make a, a row and remember always the stitch of the middle uh, do it in pour well we are going to continue like this also try not to uh, tie too much while you are making the blanket because well it will look weird so just relax and be careful and be patient this will be an amazing project and the last stitch we are going to take it poor or knit it's up to you while we are going to continue like this we are going to move this marker while we are making more rows you will see that here we are going to create a chain right in the middle so here I'm going to move the marker I'm going to place it here so from here we are going to know that this is the middle uh, stitch remember that we are going to increase stitches in the beginning and at the end and right before and after this marker okay so let's continue well I'm going to stop here I already made the rows that I needed and I like it in this way in this size so until here I have two skeins of yarn each uh, one of them or 100 grams if you want you can use more material and make this blanket for a bigger size but for me it's okay I like it I'm going to uh, bend off um, I'm going to measure it to tell you how many centimeters are of this blanket but first uh, let me show you how we are going to bend off remember that I told you that at the end we will have a lot of stitches so that's why we are using the circular needles but well I will explain a little bit the shape remember that this the bottom part is the straight part of the blanket and what we did it's that we need in triangle like this like this and that's why we have a bunch of stitches here all together because this is in the uh, tip of the triangle so you will see once we bend up some of these stitches you will see that this is getting shape well this is how we are going to bend off we are going to take two stitches together and come back with one then knit it two together come back with one remember also to not uh, tie too much while you are making this well see you when i finish to bend off all these stitches well at the end we will have something like this we are not going to cut okay instead we are going to pass through all this skein of yarn we are going to pull because from here using the same thread we are going to continue we are going to make a row of single crochet with our hook i will show you remember where we start we start here right in the bottom we start making rows and rows and rows in triangle and uh, this is it and this is the tip of the triangle and this is where all the stitches gather and at the end we have something like this remember that i use 
two skeins of yarns to half this size. And this is the right side, so now we are going to make the last touches, the final details, with an amazing uh, stitch at the end for the edge. For now, let's make a single crochet row all around uh, the blanket, and at the end, the last stitch that we are going to make will be only in the tip. Well, we are going to start a single crochet row in the right side. It's very important that you start in the right side and not in the wrong side. You will see that this is the right side because of this chain that we have in the middle. So let's start. If in case you don't know how to notice which is the right side and which is the wrong side, you just have to look at the at this at the chain. Look how it looks in the wrong side. It looks different, right? So it's pretty in the right side. Okay, so let's continue making the single crochet. Remember not to tie too much. We are going to make this row a little bit loose because if not, the shape will be weird and we don't want that, okay? So let's continue. Well, before I continue, I want to measure the triangle and the base of the triangle is 140 centimeters and now of high the height of this triangle it's of let me see 61 centimeters more or less it is important to know the measurements in case you use a fine material so you will see how many more rows you have to make or in case also that you crochet a little bit um, I mean that you need a little bit more tight so you will see how many centimeters you have to complete and how many rows more or less you have to make so now let's finish with the single crochet row and then we are going to make uh, the final stitches well in each tip of the triangle I gave two stitches together so it can continue around the shape okay here and also here two stitches together and in the other tip so now i finish the single row the single crochet row well so now from here we are going to start we are going to make extend the double crochets of three crochets we are going to skip and start in the third stitch and we are Remember that we are going to use here our hook, we are not going to use the needles anymore. So in the same stitch is where we are going to make the single crochet, I mean the extended double crochet of three crochets. We are going to make four extended double crochets, then two chains, and again in the same stitch we are going to make four extended double crochets of three crochets, and we are going to make a shell. So here we have one, two, three, and four. Then right away we are going to insert our hook, one, two, three in the third stitch. And we are going to make single crochet and this is how it looks. Now we are going to skip one, two, three and here we are going to repeat the same. We are going to make a shell of four extended double crochet, two chains, and again four extended double crochets of three crochets. Remember, we are going to continue like this, just making two chains of division between each extended double crochet. So let's continue repeating this series all around the tip of the triangle. Well, at the end of the row, make sure that you have the exact number of shells in each side of the triangle. Now for the second row, we will go up with four chains. Remember that you have to make this uh, loose. If you can, well, you can change of number. Grab your yarn and we are going to make extended double crochet of four crochets. At the last stitches, we are going to leave it in hold. Grab your yarn twice and again in the same stitch, extend a double crochet of four crochet. We are going to leave the last one a stitch in hold in the hook and again an extended double crochet of four crochets remember always to 
uh, grab your yarn twice before you continue once you have three in hold you are going to bring them through one two three four chains grab your yarn twice and right away in the same stitch we are going to repeat the same three extend the double crochet of four crochets then grab your yarn twice and leave in the last stitch in hold in the a hook so at the end all these threads we are going to bring them through together and we repeat five chains and we are going to insert our hook right away in the next shell if you feel that it looks a little bit tight well we should add more chains here in between but I think I'm going to make six instead of five chains no so it will look better now insert your hook here in, the, in this shell and we are going to repeat the same we are going to make six chains and we are going to go right to the next shell and here we are going to repeat this series of the uh, leaves I will call these leaves remember to grab your yarn twice to make these uh, leaves and we are going to make extend the double crochet of four crochets we are going to leave the last stitch in hold so once they are all together we are going to bring them through well let's continue repeating with this series and see you in the tip of the triangle well here in the tip instead of two we are going to make three so it could give round and we continue with the shape of the triangle but it's the same well in the next row we are going to make six extend a double crochet but just of two crochets later I will show you how we are going to make this then six six single crochets here in the chains that we leave in between in the last row try to make this row very loose okay if not please a change number maybe for a four or three and a half okay so now here right in the middle of the leaves we are going to make extend the double crochets of two crochets two three four five and six one two three four five chains come back and in the third through your hook and be cut one two three four come back and pick up a stitch one two three I mean two chains and insert your hook and six extended double crochets of two crochets look here I try to do a different uh, big cut but I think that it's better this way now with two so here we are going to repeat it and without making a chain we are going to make the big cut right away then three chains come back and bring them through one two and insert your hook we are going to make the external double crochets of two crochets we are going to make six two remember of two crochets three four five and six remember we are going to insert your hook right away the six single crochets and then we are going to repeat I think that I'm going to use a different number of hook because I want that it looks not too tight like more puffy so I'm going to change number let's continue with the um, series and see you when I finish to make this row well at the end I changed my hook and I decided to make this a uh, little pom-pom now you can choose between this pom-pom uh, or the one that I uh, did you before I will show you how we are going to make the six extended double crochets of two crochets and then I will show you how you can make the popcorn pop -pom, popcorn not pom-pom popcorn 
Let's count. There must be six, right? One, two, three, four, six, right? <laughs> so here I'm going to do it again because sometimes this flower like it gets stuck right in the stitch. But now let's repeat. One, two, three chains, four, no, three, no, three. We are going to come back, insert our hook, one, two, extend the double crochets. Again, three, four. And now we are going to take the last stitch and bring them through to make the popcorn. And this is how we create the popcorn and single crochet. But well, for now, we are going to continue repeating this here and you are going to choose which one is better for you or what you like, okay? Now let's see how it looks and I hope that you like it. Well, so what do you think? I hope that you like it. I really enjoy making this blanket with you. Remember that this is just an idea of the uh, last stitch that I show you. I wanted to make something amazing because you know the stitch is simple so I want something that pop up this blanket on like the material it's beautiful too so with this material with any stitch will look amazing remember that I have more ideas of blanket if you don't like this stitch you can see my previous videos where I teach you different stitches but in this video I want to teach you this one because it's different from the other videos that I have show you before but well i was very happy making this video with you remember that soon i will share the baby jacket that will match with this uh, blanket so you can complete this set okay please let me know if you have any other idea thank you so much don't forget to subscribe bye bye mm -hmm.